All right, kiddos. So yesterday we learned a little bit more about which about what country? Japan. Good job. And where's Japan located in? Which continent? Asia. Very good. Today we're going to learn about a brand new country. And not only a brand new country, but a brand new continent. We are not going to be in Asia anymore. We were there for China, we were there for Japan, but now we are going to a brand new continent. So the country that we're going to learn today is called Australia. Today we're traveling from Japan all the way to Australia. And if you see here in the map, Australia is all the way down here. So it's sometimes called the land down under because it's all the way down here. Now, the continent in which Australia is located in is very easy to remember because it has the same name of the country. So, Australia is located in Australia. Again, say it with me. Australia is in Australia. Australia is in Australia. Australia is in Australia. So, that's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Very good. So, we're going to learn all about Australia today. So, first of all, let's see. We were here in Japan and are going to Australia. So, how do you think we could get there? How can we get from Japan to Australia? Can we drive there? No? How come? Tell me. So, if we can't drive, then how can we go? We can fly there, very good, on an airplane, or, yes, or we can sail there in a ship. Those are the two ways that we can get from Japan all the way to Australia. So, so we have a friend, and our friend is Albert. Everybody say, hi, Albert. And Albert is going to show us around Australia. We said we could get to Australia either by ship or by plane, but we decided that we wanted to go by ship. So we sailed to Australia, and as we arrived, we sailed into Sydney Harbor. And here's a picture of it right here. It's beautiful. So the Sydney Harbor Bridge is the largest bridge in the world. Is it the largest bridge in only Australia? No, it's the largest bridge in the whole world. And you can see a picture of it right here. We also see the beautiful Sydney Opera House. When people all over the world see pictures of Sydney Opera House, they immediately think of Australia. Now, some of the countries that we have studied have been small with many people living in them. England and Japan are both quite crowded. Australia is just the opposite. It is a big country with not many people. So Australia has many interesting animals too. And Albert wants to show us all of them. So Albert has a brown furry animal in his arms and you can see it right here. Does anybody know the name of that animal? You can see it right here in Albert's arms. What is that animal called? It's called a wombat. What is it called? A wombat. Very good. And a baby wombat is carried inside its mother's pouch. Just like another animal that lives in Australia. What is another animal that is carried in his mother's pouch? That's right, a kangaroo. And do you know what baby kangaroos are called? No, they're not called cubs. No, they're not called puppies. What are baby kangaroos called? Baby kangaroos are called joeys. What are baby kangaroos called? Joeys. Very good. So the adult will grow to stand about six feet tall. And some can even be seven feet tall. That is a lot taller than Mrs. Montero. I'm about 5'3". I have heels on today, so I'm probably about 5'5 five five today. So the adult male can be about this tall, and some of them about this tall. 
That is a very tall animal. The kangaroo's hind legs are very, very powerful. It can hop up to 40 miles an hour. That's faster than we can drive on city streets. It is very, very fast. Now, Australia doesn't have just kangaroos. It has other animals too. And one of, one of the very cool animals that it has there are emus. Do you know what an emu is? Here's a picture of one. Here's an emu. So emus are big birds that look a lot like ostriches. They can't fly, even though they're birds, but they can run really fast. Albert will also show us koalas. And koalas are furry animals that look like teddy bears. Everybody say, so cute. Yes, they are adorable. And koalas, they spend most of their lives up in trees. They love to eat the leaves of, um, of trees. And when baby koalas are born, they are about the size of a nickel. Remember how we learned about a nickel? A nickel is a coin. Worth how much again? Five cents. So how do we count nickels? By fives. Awesome job. So when koalas are born, they're tiny, 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 just like a nickel. Like kangaroos and wombats, their mothers have a pouch where the baby koala stays until he grows bigger. Platypuses are another very strange animal, and they're also common in Australia. They have a bill and webbed feet just like a duck, but they have tail and fur like a beaver. And Australia is also home to dingoes, and dingoes are a type of wild dog. Albert's family has to watch that dingoes don't get too close to their sheep, so their sheep are not in danger. So since Australia is on the bottom side of our world, its seasons are opposite of ours. So that means that when it's winter and cold here, it's summer and warm there. And that means that in Australia, Christmas comes in the middle of their summer. So they don't get a white Christmas, but they get to go to the beach and spend Christmas at the beach in Australia, just like in Brazil. Some Australians go to the beach after they eat their Christmas meal. That's a fun and different way of spending Christmas. So tell me, K5, which continent is Australia located in? That's right, Australia is located in Australia. What furry animals make good pets? and Albert has one in his arms. Wombats, very good. What furry animals like to eat leaves from trees and they spend most of their lives up in trees? And they're the size of a nickel when they're born. Koalas, awesome job. And what is the name of this bird? Very common in Australia. And it's a bird that can't fly, but it can run very, very fast. Emus, good job. And finally, why is the platypus such a strange animal? Because it has a bill and webbed feet like a duck, but it has fur and a tail like a beaver. Awesome job. So that's all about Australia today. We're going to learn more about it next week. Mwah.